Snow. Snare. Snow. Snare. Snare. And apparently her, her car has four wheel brakes. Apparently. Even though only two of them are actually working. Jamie's blog. Good morning into Avians. It's another nice day here in the night of New York. Yeah, it's actually a lot nicer than yesterday. It's not bad, I like this. Yeah, it's good. Uh, just had to take the car to the garage just to get an estimate and see what the job was looking at. We are waiting quite a while. Not a while, now. just... Oh well, just... next paycheck. Because it's uh, quite a big number. Well, it needs to be done. Yeah, it needs to be done. So, this weekend, because we made plans to go like, out for like a little... Date, date, destiny stuff. We're gonna... <laughs> That's out the fucking window. <laughs> On fire! Well, and then with a rocket fire date. <laughs> and actually... then we sweep up the ashes and then throw them up in the air and fire another rocket at it. Actually, I was going to say more has been pushed a little bit back for a little bit for now. <laughs> yeah, for now. <laughs> Just being melodramatic, I'm sorry. You're fine, don't worry. Do you want to see a boy? Yeah, okay. Come on, let's get chippy. Go get your chippy. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Hello, sexy man. Hello. Uh, we kind of dozed off. Yeah, we totally dozed off. Yeah, had a bit of a schloop. Schloop. It was a good schloop. A good schloop. Uh, as well as that, uh, just had forms out to fill in for back home. And we were talking, well, Chris was telling me about uh, the recent video that Doug Walker brought out about the fair use and what's been happening there. And for those who don't know, What's been going on and stuff? I'll let uh, Hubby tell you all about it. Chris? Well, there's been some, uh, there's been an awful lot made recently. I don't know exactly what spurred it or started it, but there's been a lot made recently of uh, Hollywood companies attacking video creators who use clips of their work <laughs> and uh, basically ignoring fair use, the fair use part of copyright law. Uh, it seems to be an awful lot like they're using it to sort of silence dissenting and critical voices. Uh, there's a lot of just automated abuse and continual claims. And there's even one, <laughs> they actually showed an example of one particular creator who was being hounded by a filmmaker of a really crappy children's film who was threatening, sending threatening personal emails on top of abusing the claimant uh, procedures and on YouTube. So. That's the thing, you know, even if I was doing reviews and stuff, and I know one other person that does it, you know, Brony Dan, because he does reviews of My Little Pony episodes, he always puts in the description of the videos, you know, in descriptions to say, you know, copyright infringement, I do not own the rights to these, this is just for, you know, fun for just Fair use yeah. allows mm -hmm. clips of copyright work mm -hmm. to be used in original production for purposes of education, parody, or uh, I forget what the third thing was. Okay. Yeah. Essentially, basically, the thing that Brony Dan is using and things that Doug Walker and, and Video Game Nerd and stuff like that. Yeah. That's 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 covered under fair use. It's just Hollywood has just been all. Me, 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 me. They're fighting against it. They're trying desperately to ignore fair use and ignore... They tried to get yeah. SOPA to pass through. That failed, thank God, but yeah. barely. They're still trying to apply the practices of SOPA to this day. They're, they're uh, abusing the fact that the claimant system for YouTube is almost entirely run on an algorithm and automated as opposed to actual humans watching videos there's no real litigation or humans involved in the entire process hmm. it's an automated step you put in a claim and you have 30 minute 30 days for your claimant to respond and if they respond and the per or the creator to respond if the claimant doesn't respond within that period of time then the claim is automatically dropped if they don't follow through hmm. Uh, if they do, then they can even just put in another claim and extend it for another 30 yeah. days. Well, that's the thing, because there are a couple of times where, I'll be honest, I had a few files thrown at me because when I was vlogging, you know, there was music playing loudly in the background and yeah. I said, oh, you do not own 
right to this music that's playing and you know I filed in a claim and I always put in on my claims the original footage is mine it's not my fault that the music's too loud I could not edit that yeah, w, there's w nothing w I can G, do yeah Warner Music Group they actually brought that up in the video Warner Music Group tried to sue a person who posted a video of a baby dancing to Purple Rain because Purple Rain was copyrighted See, they went to court and WMG thankfully lost big but, mm. but it's it's an example of what these people are doing they're just bullying they're bullying they're trying to stifle creativity they're trying to stifle critical voice mm. they're trying to stifle freaking dissent and, and free speech pretty much they're I mean, basically breaking in a way they're almost like breaking the law there on the first amendment of freedom of speech see I know my American and breaking freedom constitution, of as well as completely ignoring the actual application of the fair use clause of copyright law. They are absolutely abusing it because Google and YouTube refuses to put anything other than an automated algorithm to their freaking claiming process. Hmm. Watch Doug Walker's video. It's called "Where's the Fair Use?" I'll put a Spread link out in the hashtag w yeah. hashtag #WTFU. Where's the fair use? Follow it through. Look yeah. into it. Watch the video. It's, it's very... It's not like a smear campaign. It's not an attack. It's obviously leaned toward his side of the argument, naturally. But it's also presented in such a way that it's level and intelligent. And honestly, he provides ideas and solutions to make the process better. Yeah. I'll put a link in the description now and in the annotation. Check it out, guys, because he's right. You know, because... This is a matter of stifling creativity. Okay, granted, all right. I'm pretty sure that maybe people are tired of YouTubers copying each other, and... But there's no such thing as originality these days. Well, that, that's not the point. No, the, see, the thing is, is like a lot of people want to see YouTubers freaking taking down a few pegs because, I don't know, maybe they're jealous that people get internet famous or famous off the internet. I will admit now that sometimes even I I get a little jealous, you know, because I'm thinking I've been doing these videos for five years. And I'm like, I'm like round about here and you see other YouTubers, or vloggers who have been doing it for five, six years, and they get internet famous and I'm thinking, what am I not doing right? Well, it's that not makes a me a little, doing anything right. Well, actually, that makes me a little bit jealous, I will admit to that. But regardless of the fact that it's jealousy or not, regardless of the fact, it's stifling a level of creativity. It's trying to stop a continually growing and advancing medium of creation. Mm -hmm. They're trying to essentially monopolize movie making. Mm -hmm. They Hollywood ran away from Thomas Edison in order to be able to make movies. Now the people who make movies are trying to stop people from being creative in movie making. That's kind of fucked up. So, yeah. WTF you guys. Pretty much. Street Fighter 5 time gonna kick his ass. Well, try anyway, cause I'm shit at this game. Cause he gets more training than me. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit of a twat. <laughs> Husband. <Hey. laughs> yeah, I don't know how we survived with that. Uh, well, we, yeah. It's not my fault, that bus was going too fast. It's pretty resilient. Oh, I'll tell you. Could have had an explosion. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys. Oh, I am back. Thanks, guys, for watching today's video. I got it tonight. It is quite late. I've been up editing most of the time. And you can see, I'm so tired. Well, I'm dying. I'm tired. So I'm going to go to bed. Fat Rich Love, so I'm going to charge you guys up as well. But thank you guys for watching today's video. I know it hasn't really been that eventful, but it's been very logical. It in the way that we were talking about. So, thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we shall see you tomorrow for a brand spanking new day and hopefully it'll be better than the rest. So, until then, take it easy, guys. Last time.